I love this game. Same. Good. <laughs> What's up, everybody? My name is Cody, and we got JC. Yo. And uh, this video is late as all balls, but. Uh, really? This is earlier than I thought it would be. It's for April. Oh, is it? Fuck. <laughs> Well, I mean, I didn't get this until almost the very, 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 very end of April. Ah, fair enough. So, so <laughs> in our schedule conflicts, because we never resolved those. Good news is, I don't have class for the next two months, so I should be able to actually do shit. Nice. All right, so. All right, also, uh, hopefully someone noticed the triggering thing from the intro video there. Holy Jesus. What is that? What the fuck is that? I really hope so. Put a comment down below if you did. If Let you, us know. First comment wins the internet. Good job. The entire internet. <laughs> you win the internet. Okay, so anyway, welcome to the April 2019 Retro Box. Retro Game Treasure Box. See, I told you I'd get it right. Eventually. <laughs> Eventually. Retro Indie Treasure Box. <laughs> We just need to make a clip of you saying that for every single time that you fuck it up. We just take that, splice that into the video. <laughs> into the year end credits. How many times did Cody accidentally say Indie Box or Nerd Block or Loot Crate in these videos? Pating, 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 pating. Well, when you have so many of these subscriptions in different capacities over the years, it kind of fries your brain. That's fair. Anyway, so this one. stuff in it so clearly uh, i would fucking hope so they sent you da -na -na -na, an empty box my dreams are broken <laughs> it's actually just a key to the vault at nintendo i couldn't get you a present this year so i got you this box that's what i got you <laughs> they sent me a key to the vault to nintendo they say i can have any games i want in their vault i'm like any is that a limited number no all right, uh, JC, go find me a very cheap cargo ship. I've got things to do. <laughs> very cheap cargo ship. You see me with every Nintendo product ever made. Their vault is empty. All their IPs now belong to me. I'm like, I'm the richest man on earth. That'd be the goal. <laughs> but yeah, April box. Sorry, it's in May, but you know, scheduling and U.S. Postal Service being well, the U.S. Postal Service. Yeah, and I already. He cheated the and already looked inside what it is, but I'm completely blind, so should be fun. Well, I wanted to know what it was. I mean, that's fair. It, it does come to your house. Yes. Thank you for your subscription. Thank you for your subscription. Thank so. you for your business. Thank you for your business. Have a nice day. And we have the pile of stuff here, too. So yep. this is about to get a little bit bigger. Yay, piles. And pull off a band-aid, and there we go. And first and foremost, since I don't know anything about this oh series. Oh, my God. Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. This is a damn good game. Isn't that the first one? Yes. Yeah, like, I've never... Uh, well, that game came out in a time where I oh, wasn't... Dude. I wasn't there's really... No, oh, okay, I was about to say, there's no fucking... There, there it is. I'm just blind. <laughs> it's like GameStop. It's like GameStop. There's a box, but no disc, except... And broken, broken dreams. But yes, Sly Cooper is one of those, like, cult classic-y kind of games. This is honestly... If you haven't had a chance to play this game before and you like pseudo stealth games that also have a really good combat and a very nice style so like Highly Ninja Gaiden recommended. yeah not like Ninja Gaiden <laughs> but yes let's uh, see the condition of that game <laughs> oh it's still in the fucking case and everything and all that so let's go look see there's a light bit of scratching but nothing that would be completely unplayable by any means well I'm heading to the produce section to get a banana yeah that's a thing but yeah there you go <laughs> I'm just going to get an entire thing of bananas. Yeah, well, that's a lot better than my Final Fantasy X disc. And your Final Fantasy X disc still boops. Yeah, scaringly so, yes. But yeah, great game. Though I will say the HP system in this game is, was changed for the second and third games, so it's kind of a jarring thing if you're going back to play the first one after playing the ones that came after. But yeah, fantastic game. I fucking adore this game. Yeah. So good. You know a fun fact about... Um, Final Fantasy X, though, uh, I restarted that game about ten times when you get to Xanarkin's Ruins, mm -hmm. or whatever, when you get to the opening sequence of the game, because I thought it was game over. So I went through the entire game more than ten times before I figured out that the end, that clip there, that what, five, six minute video, was not the end of the game. 
You poor bastard. I was 12. I didn't know any better. That's fair. All right, so Sly Cooper's a great fucking catch. What else we got? Uh, this one. Ooh. Oh, dude. Metal Gear Solid 2. Very nice. You know now, fucking classic. you know, if I play that game, I'm going to be doing nothing but Colonel, I'm dummy thick. Colonel. <sighs> but yeah. I tried sneaking around. Kind of sad dummy. it didn't come with a box or anything, and the disc has seen some better days. Has it really? Yeah, look at that. You can see it almost looks like swirl scratching on it. That means it went through a machine clean. That's a clear sign that it's gone through a cleaner. There's scratches right there. I'll have to pop that in the Xbox later to see if it boots. Hope so. If it doesn't, we can always send it back and they'll send us a new copy. Or they'll send me another game. Which is never a bad thing. Well, no. Yeah, so Metal Gear Solid and Sly Cooper. We've got a good box this month. And then we got Rogue Squadron. Oh, damn. <laughs> that back sticker's seen some better days, but Yeah, still. but that also shows that that game's real. Oh, yeah, no. This is... It's all the correct color, the teeth are the correct color, and the official new stamp of quality. Well, I mean, the fact that the uh, the fact that the body of the cartridge has seen better days, and fact it's got two-tone discoloration a little bit, mm -hmm. which is a sign that it's an older card. So I'm willing to bet that this is uh, authentic. We'll double-check it afterwards, and we'll let everybody know if it, they actually ended up sending a fake by accident, because... Oh, I'd laugh. We know, we well, know what to you're look not, for. You're not going to make a fake of a player's choice edition. I mean, that's fair, but still. Well, I mean, you Double could, check. but uh, here's the other thing. What's that be, Tony Hawk or something? Is that a mem card? It's a memory card. Oh, my God. And it's in perfect condition from the looks of it. Very nice. So, the, dude. I wish I kind of wish they'd send me the canary yellow one that has, like, 16 megs of storage. That'd be neat, but... Or 32 meg. Still. Gotta love it. Well, yeah, you gotta love it, but at the same time... Dude. I'm glad. I actually have a bright or a uh, light blue version of one of those. Oh, the teal one? Yep. Nice. Super good stuff. We're just going to stick that in the drawer because Kylie sees that she's going to eat it and she's probably going to download a floppy and start playing like... More like she'll download more RAM. <laughs> you know, a, a memory pack would have been nice to get in this for a 64. It would have been, yeah, but they are kind of tough I, to come by these days. I wouldn't be surprised eh, if we didn't get one. You know, funny enough, the the, the memory pack for the N64 is virtually useless. Yeah. Because uh, one of the fun facts about that is that some games, well, any game that used it, it either lets you increase the frame rate or the texture quality of the game. So, if you play Perfect Dark with increased textures, the game's going to run even shittier. Say what you want, guys. Perfect Dark and GoldenEye suck on N64 because of their frame rate problems. They're great games overall, but they suck when, you, when you're when you used to 60 FPS or higher and you only get like 15. It's like... Hey, I shot 10 seconds ago. How you doing? Like... <laughs> Alright, so we're going to play on Complex. We're going to be Slappers. No Odd Job. No Odd Job. Odd Job is banned. <laughs> the game shark hitbox is now the size of a thimble. <laughs> he already is a bitch and a half to hit anyway. Oh, I, I, I thought they made odd job using a freaking game shark glitch. <laughs> they probably could have done. Now, you know how a let's play I need to do is Body Harvest. Mm. Have you played Body Harvest? I think I played it a long time ago. It's been a while. Like the first level's Grease in like 1918, but you get the Sun Shield. Yeah, it's been a long time. But that is our uh, total for what we received in the April box, which Sly Cooper, Metal Gear Solid, a mem card. An authentic and, memory card. And a copy of Rogue Squadron is not a bad haul. So if you're a collector of retro games at all, or you're just looking for some stuff to like help out with the collection, it's a good service. I'm actually curious as to how, because uh, these are $35 a month. Yeah. So I want to know how much individually all these things are worth. I want to say the memory card's probably worth about 20 because it's an authentic PS2. Yeah. But then they made, like, quintillion, tillion, a metric shit ton of them, so... Yeah, so it's... I'm going to guess, like, 12 bucks. For that, maybe. And then uh, Sly Cooper... Sly Cooper, that's the original for PS2. That's not the re-release or anything like that, so... Well, it's a Greatest Hits edition. Yeah. I mean, so that lowers its value down a little bit. It, it, is a, it is a reprint, but it's not, like one of the other sets that they had for it. And then, they had multiple and then Metal Gear Solid, it was not a CIB. Yeah. 
So, so a little less on that one. So we're going to quickly check prices. We'll post them up on screen now. So that's pretty much going to be that for this episode. I do appreciate you guys watching, and I'm sure Cody does too. So go ahead and uh, check the description down below for his Patreon. And uh, we will see you guys in the next episode, which, you know, hopefully I'll be around for it when it actually arrives and not be completely screwed. Okay, so I did get my money's worth. Road Squadron's a $12 game. Heck yeah, man. So, between the memory card and all that. So, yeah, it's actually, you get money out of it, so there's that. But as JC said, be sure to rate, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, all that crap. Remember, if you guys uh, made the first triggered uh, comment down below, first comment, you win the internet. An entire internet. An entire internet. Uh, you still want to get a VPN, though. But I'm not gonna, I'm not sponsored by a VPN, so I'm not going to uh, sponsor one. So, no. No. But if you'd like, you could uh, look at uh, the first intro take that we took where I screamed at the game, and it was really loud. So, yeah. As a matter of fact, enjoy that right now. Move, you bitch! I love this game. Told you guys that was going to happen. You guys have a good one.